Excellencies, Honorable Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen. It is an honor for me to address the first National Summit on Foresight and Innovation for Sustainable Human Development, organized by UNDP, together with Ministry of National Policies and Economic Affairs, and several international, public, and private sector partners. The Ministry of National Policies and Economic Affairs, under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe, is responsible for formulating policy and guidelines for economic and social development of Sri Lanka. The Department of National Planning, which comes under this ministry, is the main planning arm of the country. The Public Investment Program, which sets out the allocation of funds for country's capital expenditure, is prepared by this department. The present government expects Sri Lanka to reach the status of an upper middle income country while attaining sustainable economic growth and ensuring good governance. In doing so, Sri Lanka will strive to be the most open and competitive economy in South Asia. Honorable Prime Minister, in his economic statement in November 2015, defined five milestones to be achieved in the medium term. They are the 1 million jobs program, increase in individual income, development of rural economies, securing land ownership to the people, and creating a wide and strong middle class. These goals collectively reflect the broader objective of inclusive development and are closely associated with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, to which Sri Lanka has shown firm commitment from the outset. The United Nations post-2015 development agenda, based on 17 sustainable development goals, will be the leading global development scenario for the next 15 years. As the Ministry entrusted with the role of planning for the future of the country, we believe that the integration of the 2030 agenda into Sri Lanka's national development framework is vital. Therefore, the national targets incorporated into our public investment program have been set in line with both sustainable development goals and national development priorities to ensure more holistic and sustainable development for the country. Sri Lanka has pledged its commitment to achieve sustainable development goals by 2030 with special focus on poverty alleviation, achieving food and energy security, improving education, minimizing income disparity and urban development. I believe that Sri Lanka has a favorable and stable political leadership, human and economic potential to carry out the 2030 agenda successfully. Nevertheless, Sri Lanka has missed several opportunities in the past that would have taken us into a vibrant and sustainable economy. We should ensure that our current path to economic prosperity is resilient against global and local challenges. Global labor and capital mobility, which are vital for our development, is constrained by ever-evolving complications in international economic, political, and social climate. Today, we face numerous global complexities that directly impact us as a small developing country. Trade patterns are rapidly evolving due to formation of multilateral, bilateral, and regional treaties. Financial markets and currencies fluctuate on a daily basis. Political dimensions are reshaped by new ideologies, and most importantly, civil conflicts have engulfed the world. Added to these complexities are the local constraints we face. After battling a civil war with human and economic casualties, we have been forced to deal with an economy that is immersed in debt. Ethnic and social issues are yet to be solved with a consensus. Adverse climatic conditions have challenged the core of our existence. In overcoming these challenges, foresight and innovation can be used as an effective tool in policy formulation. In our long journey towards development, we will face new local and international challenges that would force us to change our path and the final outcome. 
foresight methods will allow us to envision different future scenarios and outcomes. It will help us identify risks and challenges, therefore giving us the flexibility to build a more resilient policy options. Innovation is essential as we compete in the global market. If we are to build an economy with a competitive export sector, technological and demand-driven innovation is essential. A leap forward in technological innovation will put us in par with the developed world. If not, we will always lag behind them in our production capacities. Therefore, we welcome the opportunity to educate ourselves about new development methods. We look forward to collaborating with UNDP in establishing a laboratory on policy development, which will function as a space where innovative solutions that enhance the design and delivery of public services can be tested and tried out prior to implementation. The support and inputs of all the esteemed guests who are present today will be utmost necessary in our efforts to do so. The outcome document will lay out a plan to share knowledge and information about these methods. It will lay the foundation for the timely accomplishment of the 2030 agenda. In conclusion, I wish to thank the UNDP and the stakeholders in making this summit a success. Thank you very much.